Hey guys, welcome to another video, and welcome to a story time video. This is about a creepy, psychotic stalker. It didn't happen to me. Yes, I'm gonna just... Let me go... Let's just start off by saying this story is not about me. It's not my story. It's not my story to tell. Sadly, not a lot of crazy shit happens to me. My life isn't always that exciting. <laughs> a couple weird things have happened to me. Maybe I'll do a video about them. Not as exciting as this story, but this happened actually to a friend of the family. She is a childhood friend of my sister. And um, I've known about the story for years, years. And she was at a family gathering a couple weeks ago and I asked her, I, I've heard the story a couple times in my life, and I'm like, can I tell the story to the public? And like, it's it's a fascinating story. And she's like, sure. But she's like, but only one condition. Leave my fucking name out of it. <laughs> I said, sure. I'll leave, like, addresses, her name, a couple other things. I'll leave them out because she doesn't have social media. She doesn't want to be, you know talked about in the public and stuff, even though she's kind of getting talked about now, but not her name and everything, so she wants to remain, 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 she wants to remain anonymous, so, yeah, so I'm just gonna call her she and her or whatever, so, yeah, sorry, all right, so let's start the story, this is her story, um, it started off in her senior year of high school. Well, yeah, it was kind of like the middle year of high school, middle year of her senior year. This story is not starting off great, I'm sorry. Um, so she went to high school in Toronto, and uh, she started dating a guy named Derek. I won't say his last name, because, you know, I fucking hate the guy, but I don't want his family, you know, to find out, and... I'm not attacking them, so fuck you, Derek. But <laughs> so she was dating a guy named Derek. Um, I think he was like on the baseball team. He was a baseball player. Um, she was like student council, but you know they kind of liked each other. That's some they had like same classes. They were both like academics, so you know they started like talking, and then after like a few months. They started dating, and, they, you know, eventually they met each other's, like, kind of families, and, you know, it kind of got serious near the ending of the year, and they graduated together. They liked each other so much that they wanted to go to college together. They both went to a college called, college called, uh, George Brown in Toronto. She took, uh, computer engineering, I think it was. I have no idea what he took. Who cares? But... So they spent the whole summer together. They had a good time. Um, I know they went to the beach. I think they took a little trip together to like uh, Muskoka Woods and they did all that fun stuff. And honestly, everything was going well. They didn't fight a lot. They seemed to have a lot in common. They just seemed like a genuinely good couple. So they went to George Brown together and she went on residence. Um, I think he lived, with, yeah, he lived with his parents still. Pretty certain. He lived with his parents. I know she, she was on resident. She got a dorm dorm room. And, yeah. Because she lived, like, on the outskirts. If you know Toronto, Toronto's a big city. She lived, like, more on, like, the outskirts of Toronto. He lived, like, right in Toronto, like, downtown Toronto. So, I think he still stayed at his folks. But she lived on the residence. And, yeah, why didn't they move in together? I think they still thought it was too soon. I think they were only dating, like, seven, six, seven months. So, still too soon. But anyways, so she was doing classes. He was doing her classes. She had a roommate. She got along with her roommate. And honestly, she was doing very well in her classes. Um, she had some pretty cool elective courses. I know she took like a film course that she really loved. Um, she told my sister about it. She's like, I wonder if Jordan knows some of these movies we're watching and stuff. And my sister's like, yeah, he probably does. And yeah, I did. Um, but yeah, all of a sudden they're like, like, Halfway through the first semester, um, he started getting kind of clingy. Derek was getting a little clingy on her. Like, he wanted to see her, like, every single day. Because she couldn't see him every day. Because uh, she had classes every day. 
She had study. She was big into studying. She wanted the good grades because she wanted the good job at the end of the school, end of her four-year term and stuff. So she was always studying, and she just didn't have time. Like, their, their courses and their times didn't, like, you know, you know, line up with each other. So when she had availability, he wasn't available, so he was, like complaining a lot and he just wanted to see her all the time he always like would go to her dorm room when she was studying and he's like come on hang out with me hang out with me and she's like i can't i gotta study he's like why don't we ever hang out as much like he was kind of being a needy dude which is fine some people are just needy they want to see you know, like each other more i get it and sometimes your studies get in the way it's fine but he started just getting odd like he was like, you know, following her to her classes and stuff. Like his classes were nowhere near her classes. And he would like, you know, like walk her to her class every single day. It, even though he was like late for his classes. She's like, you have to get to your class. He's like, oh no, no, no. I want to see more, t more of you and stuff. And she was like, okay, I guess. And she didn't think of it and everything. But, uh, and every time she was done class, he would be there. He like, oh, let's go get lunch. Let's go to lunch. She's like, okay, okay. She's like, but you need to go to class too and stuff. But like he was ditching his own classes. So he just always be with her. For Christ's sakes, he even went to some of her classes with her. And some of the, when you go to college, some of the college professors could care less. Like there's another person there. Some of them just don't give a fuck. Some of them do. They'll kick your ass out. But, um, but he like literally joined, like was going to class with her, sitting with her. Like he was getting so clingy. Like, she couldn't even, like, get any space. Like, any space at all. And she even started to say, like, yo, I need some space. And, again, Derek took it, like, really fucking, like, he took it. Like, like what? You don't want to break out with me? And she's like, no. I need space, though. You're, like, following me. You're coming down with my fucking classes. Like, this shit needs to stop. I need to get my study done. And I want to hang out with you. When it's, like, my downtime, but not, like, every second. And he's like, okay, I guess. And then she didn't hear from him for, like, a couple days, which was, like, a good thing. So she's like, oh, God, two days of freedom. <laughs> like, but then he started being even weirder. Like, she'd be, like, walking to class. And then when she'd sit down, she'd get, like, a text message from him. And he, like, took a picture of her, like, walking down the hallways or walking through the campus and just he'd take a picture of her and he he would like send like a comment like he'd send it to her through a text and comment like you look nice today or "Ooh, i like that hair style you're using today and stuff like he would take pictures of her like he was like like stalking her he'd take a picture and send it and then say like i love you and all that weird shit really fucking weird like, who the fuck does that shit? That's fucking creepy. And, of course, she thought it was pretty creepy. And, again, she, you know, she, they've been dating a while. So she's like, she's like, that's very sweet of you. I get it. But she's like, it's a little weird. But, you know, I guess it's maybe kind of romantic. But then it just, it got weirder. Like, he would start, like, you know, anytime she would, like, follow people on Instagram and she was friends with some guys and stuff. And, like, if she was following other people, like, in her classes on Instagram, he would stalk them. And, then like, he'd message her. And he'd be like, are you, like, are you guys, like, friends now? Like, he would just get overly jealous. And, again, she was just, it was getting annoying. Like, it's bad enough, like, okay, he's following me to class. He's, like, taking pictures of me. And I don't know where he is. Like, it's weird. You know, he's being overly jealous. She's like, okay, I need a break. Like, she's like, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta talk to him. Like, I think she, like, was talking to her roommate. And she's like, I gotta talk to him and say, we need to take a break. This is just getting way too much. And you're being overbearing and just borderline pretty fucking creepy. So, I think she met him at, like, a Tim Hortons. I think there is a Tim Hortons in George Brown, so... She met him, they talked, um, she even kept saying to him, she's like, like, you're making me uncomfortable, I'm trying to focus on my studies, and blah, 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 and he seemed very understanding, like, okay, okay, 
And every time she kept talking, he kept saying, like, okay, or he kept saying, like, he was like, oh, you look very beautiful today. And she was getting more annoyed. She's like, I feel like you're not listening what I'm saying here. You're being creepy and weird. You're not the guy I dated seven months ago. <laughs> but again, he just kind of said, like, oh, that's fair, that's fair, that's fair. And then she's like, we need a dinner break. And then he's like, okay. So, um, for a few weeks, she didn't, like, hear from him. She didn't really see him in the hallways or... Because, again, a lot of his classes were, like, in other buildings in George Brown, so... She was loving it. She was so, like, fucking, like, oh, God. She's like, I don't know what happened to this guy, because, like, he was such a great dude, but then he turned into a big fucking creepo. But, like, she's glad. She's taking a break. She can, like, you know, talk to other guys, hang out with some of her friends, and, most importantly... Get her studying done. So, this is when it gets really fucked up. Um, I'm not kidding. This is like something out of like a horror movie. So, one night she was sleeping. It was on a Saturday night. Her and her roommate were sleeping. And in the middle of the night, she hears like a knock on the door. And she kind of looks it up and just ignores it. She's like, yeah, probably the wrong room. Then all of a sudden, the knock is like a thud, like a boom. Boom, boom. She gets up and she moves. She opens the door, sees nobody. And then when she like turns her head out, she literally sees Derek like walking down the hallway. <laughs> She's like, what the fuck? So literally he just like came to her room in the middle of the night and just like thumbed on her door, like just banged on the door and just walked away really weird <laughs> so she's like okay yeah she's like i'm done with this shit um so she did text them she's like don't talk to me I, I i'm done with this and i think she blocked his number blocked him on instagram but she knew like i go to fucking same school as him now so like it's hard to fully avoid him but she, i'm just blocking him off social media and that didn't work because then he started making, like, fake accounts, extra accounts, following her on Instagram and trying to get at her on Facebook. She had to put her Instagram profile on private. And then, like, yeah, it just, it was getting even just crazy. Like, he was trying anything he can to apologize and to, you know, say, he's like, oh, maybe we should go to Muskoka Woods, like, last summer. Or, like, like, he was trying his best. Just to like get her back and get her attention. And she's like, she had enough. She just had enough. She got her roommate to talk to him. She, and the roommate said, leave her alone or she's calling the police. So she wanted to get the, she wanted to avoid the cops because again, this is someone she really genuinely cared about. But then he just turned to a creepy fuck. But like, and I don't know if that that obviously didn't work because he just kept doing the same shit. But eventually, the school year ended. It was a, it was a tough year. It was a lot of craziness the year. Uh, she had to avoid him a lot in the hallways and stuff. And when she did run into him, um, she just kind of like turned the other way. Or her friends would be like, yo, dude, fuck off, you creep. So she went home for the summer. And she told her uh her folks about it uh throughout the year she did say like during christmas when she went um she said she broke up with Derek. she never went to go, she didn't want to go into details because her parents liked him so she didn't want to like ruin that image of like Derek because Derek's a saint but she did tell her parents everything he did this the whole year and they were like that's fucked up her dad's like what the fuck like get a restraining order on this psycho like like what the hell are you doing? <laughs> like, and she was just weird. Like, she was just so weird. Uh, like, this guy was such an awesome dude that like, she had so much common with. And then he just turned to this, like, psycho. So, what she did the whole summer, actually, was interesting. She wanted to do more research on Derek. Because she knew Derek from high school. And she knew his family and stuff, but... She wanted to know, like, if he had, a, like, a past about him. Like, 
does he have a history of like you know creeping on girls and stuff so she wanted to look up more like old high school people and find out like what girls dated him uh before she did and she find all this out through a couple like you know facebook mutual friends and she found some ex-girlfriends of derek and they all said the same thing that he was creepy inappropriate he would stalk them he would send like dick pics to them and if they didn't respond he would call them sluts and hoes then apologize the next day like the dude was nuts fucking crazy dude so she did more digging on him and <laughs> she found out more and more like really creepy stuff about him uh there were some rumors about him that uh probably were true like he has like a criminal record about him but that that's not the only thing that's not the biggest thing that she found about him found out about him the biggest thing she found out about him is that his name wasn't even derek it's not who he was all right, I'm going to end the story right there. If you want to know what happens at the end, you want a part two, let me know in the comments below, and I will tell you the ending of that story. I even told my childhood friend, my sister's childhood friend, that I'd end the story around that mark, and she's like, no blue balls, your audience. I'm like, I can and will. <laughs> you want to see more? Watch the video, like, and comment if you want to know more. All right, thank you guys for watching. Join the dark side.